hi so i'm back to london in my london house and a bit tired from my travels so today i'm working from home doing lots of admin and things that needs to be done if one wants to run the business like we do happy women's day by the way and all other genders just as well it's a, just another occasion to have a good time so I've always enjoyed being a woman a lot and all the femininity that goes with it and all the silly things that we are, are kind of allowed to do as women including say getting nails done so I decided that today since I had some spare time that I'm going to visit a place where I'll get my nails redone it's a place that has been recommended by my um, other house queens of our London house and it's just down the road and they really really are the best excellent service and as I was sitting there and enjoying uh, it struck me the peculiar resemblance between uh, the professional who was doing me and solution focused therapist so here are some things that we have in common and one thing that we do not have in common so in solution focused brief therapy we always always emphasize that the expertise is with the client and we really really mean that so for instance um how that shows in the professional who whom i visited today was that when she presented various colors that um, i might want my new nails to be she of course went with my decision and then I, p I ask a question of whether this particular shade of the colour would go with my skin tone. And she briefly had a look and recommended something else. So I trusted her because she's good at her job and went with her choice. Then as she was shortening my nails, she asked me what kind of a shape I would like to have and I said round one. And of course that again goes with the trust that she knows what round is and of course she knows how to do her job. So I wouldn't be thinking about how exactly is she going to do this, but I would trust her. Uh, what she did when she's done my first little finger, she showed the results to me in order to confirm whether this was indeed what I wanted. And she needn't bother doing so because I had that trust nonetheless, but it made all the difference because the expertise of what is it that I want was placed within me. And this is how we do it in solution focused brief therapy as well. So we would ask clients where they want to go and how would that where they want to go look like and we would trust that their choice and their description is exactly as it should be without our own conception of what it really is supposed to look like. Uh, so for instance if my professional had a better idea of what a round shape would look like and I didn't agree with that I'm sure that she would go with what I wanted. Um, so in the end, when she applied the nail colour, uh, she again showed this to me, which again went with this respectful, humble attitude, but at no point would I not have given her the expertise about how the work is to be done. So how to polish the nails, etc. Now, of course, I could have done my nails myself, there is no rocket science about it and she was very transparent about what she was doing so the nail, the nail polishes were there um, all the equipment that goes with manicure was there so i could have done it myself probably just as well but with the difference that it would take me much much longer and the end result would probably not be as neat and this is why i go and see her so this were the resemblances but, I hate the word but, but here it seems very not, very fitting, there is one profound difference. Um, because this professional whom I'm, I have visited is so good at her job, this kind of um, gives me confidence that I will keep wanting to come back to her. So to keep coming back and the better she does her job, the more willing I'll be to come back. In solution-focused brief therapy, this isn't the case because 
um, very briefly or as soon as you got to where you want to be, say the nails being done, you are good to go and you do not come back because you would like the service so much. You might still refer it to somebody else, but as soon as you're able to kind of carry on your life without the help of any kind of professional, you are good to go and you do not need another professional in your life to assist you on the path. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that you're celebrating Women's Day We're in some nice company and in some nice environment. So take care and wish you all a lovely weekend. So here you go, the end result. Bye!